millennial living life. Ah! I haven't posted in forever. I took kind of a summer break, just rested and relaxed. Relaxed. Oh my God. Yikes. Yeah, rested and relaxed, kind of recharged. I was feeling a little bit burnt out, so I just took the summer off and like wasn't really making content. But um, yeah, I'm back and I'm excited. Today we're gonna be talking about makeup. I have a lot of new products from BoxyCharm I wanna try out and do a makeup look for. So Coco says hi. Say hi, Coco. Oh yeah, get that ear scritchy. Get that ear scritchy, oh yeah. Anyways, okay, let's get started. So this look is gonna be rock and roll. Like we're going out on the town because next week I'm going to an event. It's called Rocktoberfest. I'm so excited. It's hosted by a furniture vendor. Um, and <laughs> you just, it's so fun because you get to see people like dress up super crazy. Like for people that you know professionally, just dressing up super crazy, like super fun outfits. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna go kind of hardcore rock girl vibes. I have a Fleetwood Mac tee. I know Fleetwood Mac is not like hardcore rock, okay? I know, I just, I love the rumor shirt and I finally found one after forever. So I bought it and I'm wearing it and it's extra large. So it's gonna be interesting how I put it all together. And then I bought a red hat when I was in Nashville. I'm very excited, it's gonna be really fun. I am not looking in the right place, there we go. I keep staring at myself, it's weird. I haven't filmed a video in forever, but today I'm not using my makeup mirror, so hopefully I'm not gonna be like, you're not gonna see the top of my head, I'm trying a different thing, I'm in a different spot in my house. Um, so hopefully it goes better with that, we'll see. Um, what, oh, what else has happened? This is coffee. See, not a lot, summer was fun. I went on a trip, went on a girls trip to a winery. Um, then I went to Nashville for like a work thing, so that was really fun. Um, yeah, I'm back filming at my house. Uh, I loved the location I was kind of filming in, but after a couple of videos, it was kind of really clear that the acoustics were not very good. Um, so, and I was like, well, why am I gonna pay to go to this place if the acoustics aren't good? Um, so yeah, and I, have this brand new microphone. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Kylie and Ian and Lene. I'm so excited to use it. I think it's gonna be really good and really like help the videos and stuff and like, you know, maybe a podcast. We'll see. But yeah. Okay, let's get started. We're doing a rock girl look. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, so I've already, I've been up and ran errands today. So I've already washed my face makeup, all that, not makeup. Oh my God, we're doing makeup now. My brain, my brain. Anyways, okay, so I've got up, washed my face, put sunscreen on, and now we're doing makeup. I went and ran some errands today before, then I took a nap, and now we're doing this. So first up, like I always do, I'm gonna do the Urban Decay Quick Fix. It is just like a revitalization, spray it has nasima my i can't say it. it has something coconut water and spectrona m3 i don't know i it has vitamins b3 i like it i'm in my 30s like anything anything else anything okay i love that then I do have the Red Demon brought a friend this month. So do you have a little bit of acne? I forgot my pimple cream in my room. Oh well, we won't be using it. It's fine. It's starting to heal. I just looks really angry because I'm very pale. I didn't get a lot of sun this summer. I wore a hat and sunscreen and all the things you're supposed to do. So I did not get tan this summer. I stayed very, very white, if you could not tell. So. Ugh, coffee is so good. I started putting oat milk in my coffee and it is lovely. Okay, 
So next up, I'm going to start with my eyes like I pretty much always do. I know some people do their face makeup first, but I like to do my eyes first. Um, okay, so over the summer, I got this palette in my BoxyCharm. It is Violet Voss and then the Olive You Forever palette. So I've already used it a few times. It's really pretty. Um, I really like these ready shades. So I'll be using those today. And then also over the summer, I got this um, Ditto Venus palette. So this one I really haven't used yet. It looks kind of fun. I mean, I love the layout of it. I think it's really fun. Um, I some of it I think you could use like if I was on a trip I would probably use some of this for like just as one palette because it has like I would use that as a highlighter like that would be a good bronzer you know so I think it has multi-purpose but I guess I did use the black one a little bit but whatever so I'm gonna be mixing the bronzies in this palette with the reds and this one to kind of create like a fun rock and roll look. So I am going to do really dramatic eye, really dramatic lip, um, just because why not? It's supposed to be like a rock party. Also over the summer, I got this giant bronzer. You can tell I've used it quite a bit. I really like it. It's the iconic London, um, the ultimate bronzing powder. I love it. I did not realize how pigmented it was going to be. So the first time I did it, I went like this and then did this. And I was like, oh no. I definitely have to like wipe it off and tap it out. <laughs> so yeah, those are just a few of the new things that I'm going to be using. But like, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So first off, I'm going to use, I'm almost out of it. And then after that, I have a new one in my boxy charm. But I'm going to use my Urban Decay um eyeshadow primer potion i use it every time but is this angle good yeah okay okay so we're gonna get this in there do it all over your eye Do it all over my eye and then I'm just gonna rub it all. Also, it's uh the seasons have changed in Texas, which means your girl's eczema is back. You know where I get eczema? Here and then in my eye. So that's been fun. I've been at work and just like doing this and they're like, oh my God, are you okay? And I'm like, it's eczema. It really itches. They're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I know. I have eczema and it itches. Okay. So the eyeshadow primer is on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, clean this brush real quick. Okay. So I've had this palette forever. Um, you can tell it's kind of dirty, but it's just a basic, just contour powder contour not shimmery um palette but what I like to do with this it's not really contour but what I like to do is take this peachy color and I put this in my eyes first as a good base and I only do this if I'm doing powdered eyeshadows if I do creams I just do the base and then do the cream eyeshadow so then just get this all over and it gives a good base that way you can um you know blend in your shades a lot easier let's get this you can't really see a difference <laughs> all right so we've got that gonna wipe my brush off okay so I saw this technique 
I'm gonna try it. I've never tried it before. Um, but what I wanna do, it's the one where you do the different shades. So you start dark to lightest, and then you blend, blend it, and it's supposed to be like, ah. Um, so we're gonna try it today, but first what I'm gonna do is because we're doing that technique, I always, I mean, I have like huge eyes and then my eye socket to eyebrow ratio is pretty big. So what I like to do is I put, like I'm not gonna fill all this in with like the reds. What I like to do is I stop the shadows here cause like that's quite a lot. And then I put like a shimmer to pop the orbital bone. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that shimmer in to start with. That way when we blend the reds, I don't mess it up once I get it where I like it when I do the shimmer. So we're gonna do the shimmer first. Yeah. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. I'm using the wrong brush. Okay, here we go. All right. So like I said, it's just the light shimmer. Um, and this shimmer that I'm using is very glittery because again, we're using, we're doing a rock look and I want it to be really dramatic. So it is going to be really, really shimmery. Not something I would wear to work. Although I did wear, uh, the KVD purple shade of their liquid lip. I wore the purple. This is the black, but I wore the purple to work yesterday and had a meeting. I put it on. Forgot I had a meeting when I did it. I was like, oh, this is a fun Friday look. I don't really see anyone on Fridays. And then I was like, crap, I have a meeting. I was like, well, it's too late now. I can't take it off because it's like purple, you know, and super dark. So I was like, well, whatever. And I walk in, it was my afternoon meeting. I walk in and one of the clients was like, oh my God, I love it. She was like, oh my God, I love it. I was like, oh, thank you. I was very worried. <laughs> Cause you know, it's a client. You just never know if they're gonna be like super conservative or not. Okay, so we did that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do No, not really. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my crease brush, it's what I use for creases, and I'm just gonna start layering in the different shades. And this palette is great for that because I'm gonna be using this one at my darkest and then just kind of go lighter, lighter, and then when I get to this one, I'm gonna pop in some of this shimmer all over these shades. So we'll see how it works. Um, hopefully it does. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my right eye. We're using, um, this is out of the Violet Voss Olive Youth Forever. So cute. You can't see Coco, but she's behind me. Um, and I'm gonna use the charmed color first. So we'll see. Okay, so you're supposed to just put this in. And again, I'm doing it quite heavy because I want it to be a dramatic look. Okay, so there's one. Switch out the color. So next we're gonna use the Infatuated, which is this one. And I do, I've never used this brand before. I actually quite like it. It is quite pigmented, which is nice. Um, it does have like a lot of, like in the palette, Oh, that looks crazy. Trust the process. Um, once you hit it, it does kind of fluff up and get kind of everywhere easily, but it is very pigmented and I like it. Um, okay, so the next one I'm going to use is Wishful. All right, so 
this is an exact science because I haven't done this technique before, but we'll see. I might not be able to use all the colors I want to use. Okay. And And then we're going to use color wink. I had a boyfriend. He's an ex, but I had this boyfriend and he would make fun of me all the time because I can't really wink that well. Because my wink, I'm just always like, and he's like, you, he's like, no, don't turn, do it. And I'll be like, he's like, you're not winking. You're just like collapsing one side of your face. And I'm like, I know I can't, I'm always like, it's not, I can't just like, uh, I can't do it. I can't. And it's like, I can do this, but I can't do Anyways, okay, so we put all that on. So that's our base shades. So I'm gonna go back with the Venus palette and I'm gonna pop in some shimmer. Um, so I'm gonna use Moon and Callisto. Callisto? I don't know. Oh my gosh, wow, that really, okay. It like really like you touch it and it crumbles which is I guess nice I hope I hope it's like really pigmented um, okay so I'm gonna stick this okay yeah this is not good this you would think it's gonna be really pigmented look look at That is just like not. Let's try this one. That is not as pigmented as I thought it would be. That's so crazy. Okay, let's try the Callisto. It's a little harder. It's not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Not the excess. Oh, see? Okay, how crazy. That one's way better. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Although, this is the color, and this is it on my wrist. Okay. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put this shimmer in my crease and just kind of see how it goes. Ooh, it has quite a bit of fallout too. Um, okay, so we're just gonna put it in for good measure. Uh, it's just not as pit. Oh, it's like collapsing on itself. It's cool because when you open it, like it's pretty because they're all sculptured. But like this, when you get your brush in it, like the ridges are collapsing. So you're just wasting product because you're not gonna put all that on your eye, right? And like, you know, you put it back and stuff, it's gonna, whatever, whatever. Yeah, this is just not at all what I thought it was gonna look like. I thought it was gonna do, it was gonna be super shimmery when I blend it all together, but it's just like not working. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out and you poor baby palette. You're just not gonna get used that much, are you? Nope. Okay, so this is how it looks. You can see I have some fallout and it needs to be blended. Okay, well, the... I'm gonna switch back that way know which palette I like um okay so this one 
it's blending really nicely. Um, the shimmer does have a lot of fallout that I'm going to have to fix. This is why I do my eyeshadow first. Um, okay, so that's not as dramatic as I thought it was going to be or wanted it to be. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Where'd that brush go? I organized my table so nice and neat and then now I'm like started doing stuff and I'm not putting stuff back where I got get it from okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put it's not as dramatic as I thought it was gonna be so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of black in the crease um, it's called color infinity in this palette but I mean it's black let's see okay yes oh perfect this is what I wanted I'm just going to put it, I'm not going to go all the way up to where the red is. I'm just going to put it kind of lash line and out. And then I'm going to blend it. So this is how I did it. Anyways, um, I'm making really funny faces and this is like bright, angry red. It's making me laugh. Um, anyways, okay. So then I'm just going to blend this out and I'm not going to blend it this way. I'm blending it this way. Nice. I think okay so I like this I think once we get the liner and stuff and kind of clean up this area it's gonna look really good okay so let's go in and do the next eye the same way all right so I'm gonna take the color charmed again I'm right-handed it's my left eye so So again, I'm just gonna do that same technique where you just kind of go in and I clean my brush off. And now I'm gonna use Color Infatuated. Okay. Get the excess off. Oof. Get that on there. And next I'm gonna do a color wishful. All right. And then last again, we're gonna do wink. You're like, why are you single? I'm like, oh, if I'm at a bar and wink at a guy, it's this. Hey baby, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have a funny dating story. So, all right, got the wink on there. I am gonna go ahead and put that same glimmer stuff on, the shimmer powders, um, just so they match and stuff, but I'm, again, I'm not very impressed with the shimmers in this palette. Um, I also don't like that the sculpture, because they're sculptural, like as soon as you start using them, they start breaking really easy. I don't really like that. Um, okay, so again, I'm gonna put this Callisto color, the same as the dark red. And then I'm gonna put the moon color, kind of mid lid. See, I feel, I feel like it showed up more in this eye, so I'm just going to add up. But it's just getting everywhere, though, which I don't like. Okay. Let's add a little bit more in that eye. And then, because I added a little bit, I'm just going to blend it just ever so slightly. Okay, now... I'm gonna blend this eye and tell you about this last 
it wasn't even a date. It was, I think I got used for a nap, honestly. Let me explain. Okay. So I went out last Friday with some coworkers. It was like after an event, I don't really go out with coworkers just because it's like, I work with them. I don't want to like them see me sloppy drunk and be like, oh, Aaron did blah, 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 blah. And it's like, okay, well, you know, just because I have worked at places where we all got sloppy drunk together and then like, it gets weird. So I'm like, I just don't like to do that, you know, anymore. Um, but I did go out after this event and like one of the girls brought her husband, like he met us out. And he invited some coworkers. And so one of them was like really cute. I'm talking to him, flirting with him, whatever. We exchanged numbers. He was 26. I'm 32. But he was over 6'2, or he was over 6 foot. And he was just like a solid built country boy vibe. You know. So he gets my number and then the next day he's like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, nothing, just relaxing because I was hella fucking hungover. Um, he's like, oh, well, you know, I don't have time. You know, I'd love to see you again. I don't really like have time for a date today, but like, can I come over and we watch a movie for a little bit? I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I didn't get like serial killer vibes or anything from him. I'm just putting that black, like we did here, I'm putting it um, on my eye, um, on this eye. And then we're gonna blend it out again. Um, and I was like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. So I like clean up a little bit, take a shower, he comes over. Um, and we do, we just watch a movie and cuddled, which was really nice. Like, um, I don't like high school cuddled with somebody and a long time you know where you're just like cuddling but you're not like doing anything but like it's like oh I cuddled with him and this guy falls asleep which not a big deal okay and then like I was about to be like do you want to order pizza for dinner like he wasn't really explaining his plans and he's like oh yeah I gotta leave in like 30 minutes I have a birthday dinner and we were talking and stuff he lives out in Katy and he had gone into his office today. This is not even. He had gone into his office last Saturday. And then he had, and he lives out in Katie. His office is like, you know, downtown. And then my house is like in Houston. Um, and he had a birthday dinner for one of his coworkers, one of his friends in town. And he lives in Katie. And I was like, did this dude, like after he left and I didn't, I never heard from him again. We were supposed to get dinner Wednesday, never heard from him. And I'm not going to text him. I'm like, dude, if you don't want to hang out, whatever, I don't care. You're 26. <laughs> like, so I don't know what happened, but I was just like, I was talking to one of my friends. I was like, did this guy just use me for a nap? Like he stopped by my house. And used me and my puppy for a nap. I'm not even mad at it. Because, like, I mean, I got cuddles. So, I was like, okay. But, yeah, I was like, this is insane. They're like, why are you single? I'm like, well, this is what is happening. I tell them, like, stories. And they're like, that's crazy. That didn't happen. I'm like, mm. but it did. So I'm just adding more of the black and I'm gonna blend this out. And this is, I just want it to be dramatic. I also kind of, cause it's a rock party. Like you're supposed to dress like a rock star. I kind of want to look like, I don't know. I want it to look like you just got off stage at a rock show, so your makeup's run a little bit, but you're still hot. Or, like, you know, you put makeup over the makeup you had on the night before type thing. Don't do that. But always take your makeup off and moisturize tits to forehead, ladies. Tits to forehead. 
Grandma Rose told me that. And I will do that until the day I die. Okay, so this is the eyes. I'm gonna clean this up so it's more of a harsher, like harder line. And then we're gonna go in and do some liner. Okay, so to do to do the cleanup, because you can see I have some fallout from the shimmer, and then I'm gonna clean up my orbital bone. Um, I'm gonna take, it's like the Lancome makeup remover, um, little sample, and I'm a Q-tip. I also really like the Garnier Micellular Water as well as a makeup remover, so either work. Um, and I know you can do the tape and stuff, but I mean, either works, so whatever. So I'm just going to clean up the shimmer first. Oh my gosh, it's, it got everywhere. It was like down here. How, how is it on my chin? Okay. <sighs> Okay, so now I'm just, to clean this up, I'm going to go from the bottom of my eye up towards my end of, tip of my eyebrow, right? Ooh, this is like tough to get off. It's like, I'm like, it's holding on good. I don't want to pull my skin like that, but it was like on there. Ooh, it's still on there. Look at that. It's still like pretty on there. Yikes. Okay. I mean, that's good. You know, you're not going to sweat it off. It has staying power, but I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So got that side cleaned up. I'm gonna do this side now. This one didn't have as bad a fallout, but still needs to be cleaned up. All right. I'm gonna get a little more. The lighting is kind of weird in here. Um, so, oh, there we go. It looked kind of weird in my mirror. Okay. So you can see what that did. It cleaned up this and it's making just a nice, sharp wing. Um, it's also bringing my eyes up, right? I'm in my 30s. We want everything to go upwards. Okay. So next I'm going to take, because we did this and it's pretty good. That creates kind of a natural line. I'm not going to do a whole lot of eyeliner, um, but I am going to do a little bit. So what I'm going to, I've had this for a while. Um, it's a still a stay all day. I know it has mixed reviews. I like it. I've never really had a problem with it, but so I'm just going to go in and put this on my lash line. And I'm not going to use this to draw a cat eye. I'm going to do that with powder. But first, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to stop talking because I have to like, put my hand here. Okay. Okay. So I've put this on the lash line. Um, and now I'm going to take an angled brush. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it, this angle brush, and I'm going to do in the infinity color, which is a powder black, um, and I'm just going to go over that line that I just created. Ooh, and this is having some fallout. Um, and that just kind of softens that line up, so it's not as like it's not a harsh. Um, like painted looking line. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take this 
and I'm going to just define that edge that we created. So you can see I didn't do like a cat cat eye. I just kind of define that edge and what I'm going to do is just blend this way that way it keeps that line. I oh my gosh, I almost had a panic attack. I looked up, it wasn't recording anymore. And then I was like, what happened? Where did I stop? And I couldn't like find the video for a second. Like it didn't pop up and I was like, did I just like lose a 30 minute? Like how do you start a video here? Don't worry, it was still there. Ugh. Okay, so where were we? All right, so I'm taking the my angle brush and in my Violet Voss I Love You Forever, I'm using Color Infinity to finish out my liner and then do a line from my eye to the eyebrow just to define that wing we already created when we cleaned up. I'm going to take it. I can't talk because I have to rest me. I messed up. It's all good. We can fix it. Dang it. I really messed up. Uh, fuck. All right. Well. Okay, so what has happened is I accidentally touched and then when I went to fix it, I took off too much. So I'm going to have to go and fill that back in. Okay, so I filled it back in and I'm just going to blend it this way. Now it's not even, so I gotta kinda fix that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and re-clean up this line. All right. Ah! Technical difficulties, and then I mess up my makeup, okay. Ooh, that lighting's way better, this angle. Okay. Okay, I'm going slow and gradual. Also, this is like not even at all. Oh my gosh, the lighting was so bad there. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is not even. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to have to make this side darker because I can't really fix it any other way. Um, okay. Mm, that looks like that. Hmm. All right. We're just going to have to go in much darker. That's fine. Go up a little more than I was thinking, but I think it's fine. Okay. And then we're just going to blend it this way and then over and I think oh yeah there we go okay kind of get out on out it's dramatic eyes man Whew. all right okay that's Pretty good. That's and then I'll put lashes on. So, okay. So we've got the liner um, fixed. This for the most part. So that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do next? Um, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch from eyes. I'm not gonna do my lashes yet. 
I'm gonna go to face. So for face, we've already done our quickie fix again. So then next one I'm gonna do is, I've already done some block for the day and I'm not really gonna go back outside. What is going on? I messed my ponytail up. And I'm too OCD to sit here and like. <sighs> I look a little crazy right now. I like it. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Put my rings back on. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is face makeup. So I'm gonna start with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, this is their Ultra, Ultra Glow Dewy Foundation Grip. I do two pumps. I think that's adequate for my face. I've not had a problem um, using more or less. I don't think I really need to. So I just do it in dots. I always make sure to get my nose. Um, and then you just rub it in. Get the hoops out of the way. Just rub it in. Get everywhere, okay. And then I, I get it up under my eyes, right? Because I'm going to put concealer under my eyes because I'm in my 30s. Yeah. All right, so let that set for a little bit. Just till it gets sticky. Like, not even a full minute. Just, like, a little bit. Have a sip of coffee. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is I like to start with my concealer. So I got this in a BoxyCharm. It is the Tarte um, Shape Tape Glow Wand Color Sunbeam. I know this got mixed reviews. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, I think it works okay. Um, I don't like to do a lot under my eyes just because I don't like it to look crinkly. Um, but, you know. So, oh, I missed a spot. There is just like sparkle all over my face. Anyways, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I just kind of go in here, corner, and just pull it out a little bit. And then same thing here in the corner. Oh, I slipped. Um, and pull it out. I don't really put it like up in my eye. I let the beauty blender uh, get some on it and take it up. Um, so I'm not putting it directly like up against my eye. So the next thing, I'm going to take my beauty blender. It's very off brand. It's not actually a beauty blender. I'm going to take my foundation. I am using the Lancome Tint something Ultra Wear. I like it. I really like it. Um, it's really lightweight. I was using the Urban Decay Naked. And then that one kind of got discontinued in place of stay naked, which is not the same thing. I see it every time. It is not the same thing. Um, but yeah, so I tried the Too Faced one, Born This Way. It was a little too heavy. I didn't really like it. Um, and then, you know, pandemic happened. So who... Who was using makeup for a while, not me, um, until I started <laughs> this channel. And so I went to Alta one day and the lady suggested this one and I've been using it ever since. I love it. Um, and it, it reminds me a lot of the, the Naked, which I really, the Urban Decay Naked, which I really liked. So that's what I'm using. I think it works really well. Um, so I'm just going to tap this all over. I'm being really careful around my eyes so I don't mess up the eye makeup. Okay. 
and then I'm just getting it even coverage all over. You can see I didn't do anything to this spot. It's just one spot and I always find it looks worse when I try to fix it. So I'm just going to kind of leave it. Um, and let it be. Um, I'm trying to get up in my eye crease. Um, get that blended out. Okay. So you can see that it's a good light coverage. It doesn't really, it just for me knocks down the redness. It gives, it makes your skin look its best, you know, but it still looks like it's your skin. Um, where's my contour stick? I forgot my contour stick. That's okay. Oh, hi, Coco. Oh, hi. Coco's sitting right here. Hello. Okay, so I forgot my contour stick, but it's okay. Um, we will use my contour palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I'm going to take this, do I want to use this one? Yeah, sure. I'll use this one. So I'm going to take this brush, floofy, little floofy brush. And I'm going to do the darkest shade, um, cause it's contour, you know, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit my jaw. Oh, yeah, that works. Hmm. Okay. Improvising. Ah. All right. So next I'm going to do my cheeks. So I always like to do this hollow part here. Um, and you just, you start out light and just go, keep going um, until it gets to where you want. And if you don't like it, you can take that beauty blender that you just did and like, tap it out. So, oh yeah. That really makes me look like a skeleton. I love it. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little dramatic. So we are going to, ah! we're going to go ahead and just kind of tamp this out on those sides. So you can see, I mean, that really does. And then the next part we're going to do is the C of the forehead right at the hairline. Just enough. Um, so yeah, you can see that really does create, and I know it's like shadowy in here, but that really does create like a dramatic um, line. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is our blush. And I got this in my BoxyCharm, like literally the last one, like last week. So this is Half Caked um, In Bloom. And y'all, it's like, when I tell you, I opened it and was like, <gasps> because it's freshly squeezed is the color. Look at that. It is so pigmented and it came with its own special brush. Like, so <laughs> it is pretty pigmented. I'm actually kind of excited to use it for Ren Faire. Um, I'm gonna go as a Viking one day and so I'm gonna do like a really fun red and black eyeshadow look, which I will do a video for. Um, so I am excited to use it for this, but just for, I do like the color of it for blush, but it is super saturated, so you have to be like pretty careful. So I am literally just gonna like tap, tap. Like I did not get hardly any, and it is
Like, it's pretty pigmented. And that was just, like, a little baby tap, you know. So. All right. So now we're going to go in on this side. We're going to get it even. I do like the brush. I think sometimes it doesn't get as even as it could. So I have been going in with my Beauty Blender after and just kind of, you know, giving it a little zhuzh, like a little tamp. Oh, cheekbones. All right, cool. And then the last step we're gonna do for, or second to last step for our face is I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. So I also did get this over the summer in my BoxyCharm. It is the, um, who's it from? Manufactured for Bonnie Co. Okay, In Touch Soul Pretty Filter Glow to Makeup Palette. That was a lot. Um, it's a all-in-one palette, so you can see it goes from highlight to contour. I've also used it as eyeshadow and a pinch. Um, and that worked out pretty well, I liked it. So I'm gonna go with this lightest color for the highlight. Um, I also really like the packaging on this. I think it's pretty and it's a good size. And the mirror is nice, like the mirror is a good one. Like some of them, like this mirror, this doesn't have a, I guess it does. I can't get it off though. It has like this protectant film, but like I can't get it off. Um, this one is just like a good, good mirror, you know? So because I'm doing a dramatic look, I am gonna do quite a bit more highlighter than I normally would. But again, this look is for like a party at, uh, a music hall so it's gonna be dark so I want my I want my cheeks to pop um, okay so that is pretty well blended I don't look like the Impala's ice cream which is always you want to avoid um, and then what I'm gonna do next is no not this step ah, I keep forgetting what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my iconic London uh, bronzing palette and I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzer not contour so that the one I was using before while it is still a brown powder um, that was a contour color that I use and so this is a little lighter this is like just to give a little bit of a tan look um, just a little sun kissed and again I love the packaging of the iconic the um, mirror is really nice so I'm just gonna do my forehead. I always do where the sunlight touches when I get a tan. So that is my nose, the tops of my cheeks. I know we just put highlighter on there, but so you don't want to put too much, but it just, it still works, right? Just a little zhuzh. And then again up here. And that just kind of gives you like a soft glow. I know I have like the ring light and then my overhead light, so it's hard to see, but you know. So next thing I do is I'm going to go ahead because I put the concealer in and I got it up in here. I need to go back and kind of redo the highlighter in my eyes. So I'm going to take my Thrive um, Bright Eye Brightener. This color Stella. I love this thing. And I just do it in the corner of my eyes. And then right at the brow. Oh, got it on the eyebrow. And then on top, like here. So we're gonna do it here. Um, and I mean, do what works with your face shape and your eye shape and stuff. If you're like, oh, I look weird. If you put something and it's like, oh, that looks weird. Don't do that. Figure out where it looks good. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna just kind of blend that out a bit clean brush okay so the last step I'm going to do for my eyes before we do lips and lashes is I'm going to take 
This is just e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their clear mascara. They started calling it clear brow and lash. When I started using it, it was like clear mascara, but then it was it was like one of those viral beauty tips that were like, oh, use it on your eyebrows. It works. And so what I do, I just run this through and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put it, I'm going to fan it out. So I don't do eyebrows um, because I, these are my eyebrows. So that's not my forte, but if you do are using a natural one because you grow them out, this is what I do is I put the e.l.f. in, um, the clear mascara, and then I just take a brush and kind of brush them out and voila. Um, okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray this down. Coco's just like, what the heck? Um, okay, so I'm going to use Urban Decay All Nighter to set this. This is my absolute fave. It works so well. I've gotten tons of other setting sprays in the mail and like BoxyCharm and stuff like that. And every time I'm just like, I try it once and I'm like, mm, no, this is not, <laughs> not as good. So I always end up giving it away. I'm like, uh, do you want this? Okay. So we are doing a dramatic look. So I, I'm going to try to do a dramatic lip. We'll see. So I'm going to use these two lipsticks together. So this is the KVD um, color Witches. It's a black. And then we have the Steve Levant Eggplant. Um, I've used both separately in the past, but what I'm gonna do is I kinda wanna make a little vampire-y look. So I don't wanna do black with the red. I wanna do uh, red with a black center. So I'm gonna do the black here and here. Wish me luck. There's no going back once you start doing this. So I'm just gonna tap it on, right? Where's tapping it? Oh, I should have done lip mask first. My lips are like really dry. I have something in my teeth. Awesome. Okay, so I got that on. Look a little crazy. It's all good. Trust the process, right? Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the eggplant color and I'm going to go in on the sides and then I'm going to just kind of rub it together. This is not as dark as I thought it was. Hmm. This was not the right red. Don't worry, I'll be back. Excuse me. What? Ma'am. Coco beer. Want to say hi? Want to say hi? Or I just did my makeup. What are you doing? I just did my makeup. No. You're so cute though. Thank you. Okay. I am meant to grab this. This is the one I was going to use. Yeah, so we're gonna wipe this off and hope for the best. Um, but I forget the KVD 
does, oh, now I have lipstick on my teeth. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're essentially gonna start over. You can see I still have some of the QVD um, color witches on there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with this. So this is Milani um, Amore Matte Cream, and then this is color Fabulous. This is the one I thought I was using. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. So we're just gonna go in This is the color I wanted, okay. So that's good enough for now. Before it dries real quick, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the black on the inside. that got on my teeth that really that really is on my teeth okay well that is not I'm gonna have to figure out and play with that separately that is just not really working how I thought it would so what I'm gonna do is just go back and finish up my neat and tidy this up um, that line do one last pass Do. So we got that. So I have the dramatic lip, dramatic eye. Um, so the last thing we need to do is our lashes okay so what I have this is the box I just uh, keep them in but these are the Ardell brand that I got from Target they're um, pre-cut and stuff already so well I cut them prior to the video to size um, so I think they're wispies they're really kind of not that crazy but I do like the shape and stuff. Um, so we're just gonna glue these on real quick and do a couple swipes of mascara to incorporate my lashes with these lashes. Yeah, what do you think so far? My cheekbones are just out of control. I love it. Coco doesn't care. Because like you're gonna walk me and look like a vampire. That's what I'm concerned about. You always gotta let it get a little tacky, a little dry. Oh, 
It's always super boring. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead. I think this is good. We are going to go ahead and plop these babies on. And just as needed. Okay. Perfect. You can see that that really does make it that lash. Um, let's do the next one. I'll cut this out because it is super boring. Popping this one on. Get in there. Oh, there it is. There you go. Get in there. Oh, perfect. Oh. Did I just pop my lashes on like the first try on each eye? I did. Okay. So last and final two little things I do before we are done completely with the look is you can see here how you put the lashes on and because I didn't line my eye completely, you can see kind of that harsh start line of the lashes. It doesn't look very natural. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my angle brush again, go into the um, infinity color in this palette, but any kind of powder that matches your eyeliner will work. And I'm just going to go in and soften that line. So and this just helps it blend better. Why isn't this? There we go. There we go. Okay. And it just soften, softens it a little bit, makes it look a little more natural. Um, okay, and then, is that it? No. I'm like, wait, there is another step. I couldn't think of it. Okay, so the last thing I like to do is I like to take my mascara and then I'm gonna just gently kind of swipe through a few times just to incorporate my lashes with the fake lashes. And I got mascara. On my nose. I was so close, oh my gosh. All right, well, we're gonna have to fix that. Again, just mass, I'll do it this way. I'm still working on angles, but I think I did a lot better at this one. Um, so just doing the mascara through. And it just like picks it up and incorporates it. Okay. And then the la last, 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 last thing is I'm gonna do just 
fix that little, not too much, not a crazy amount, but you can see I just kind of got that mascara and had to wipe the mascara off. So I'm just gonna go in and touch that back up. Perfect. All right, awesome. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is what I'm gonna wear next weekend to that event. And I'm gonna have like a really fun rocky, um, rock vibe outfit on. So I'm very excited. So tune into my Instagram. I'm also on Twitter and TikTok um, at Millennial Living Life. And yeah, until next time.